Well, that finishes that chore from last week that yeah. we didn't finish. <laughs> Done. Look, guys, we Check. finished something. Check something off of the list. Yeah. <laughs> All right, today's plans. We're finishing up this. We have a really ugly rain cloud that's hanging over us. But other than that, it says it's not going to rain here. And we're planting strawberries. We are planting strawberries and uh, finishing cleanup back there. More plant, more strawberries. <laughs> Doing some more work back there. <laughs> and then more strawberries. <laughs> Because I really feel like we have about 7 million strawberries. We're not even kidding. Thanks, Darla. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> they want to make sure we don't start. <laughs> so we're really excited, actually, about the amount of strawberries. We're totally teasing. We have a couple of different ways that we're going to plant them. We're going to take you guys along with us. And then we're also working on that hard cleanup over there. That way we can begin the greenhouse. So that's pretty exciting. Super. And... We have some friends that are going to come check out our trees and maybe drop them for us Ooh. so that I don't end up back in the hospital. <laughs> but that being said, I am having surgery next week. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, taking the plate out of my foot that got put in it last year, literally this time last year. <laughs> exactly. The recovery system will be a lot better, like the time frame. Well, you all know Heather <laughs> quite well, and she does not follow instructions exactly. I do not. But I did tell on myself. <laughs> Dr. Fisher was really nice about <laughs> it. <laughs> she totally did. She's like, well, honestly, guys, how am I going to marry a doctor? How else? How else? I got you. Got to meet them where they are. <laughs> so I need to start a lot of fires. <laughs> we're going to do all of that and find some time to wash our dishes and plant more strawberries. <laughs> 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 I just didn't want to haul it all the way back over there. Yeah. Um, Well, that does it for our firewood logs in this area. I'm so excited. Yeah, check another thing off the list. Yeah. We still have some more logs, uh, actually quite a few more. I would say we have two and a half, maybe three cords of firewood over there um, right now cut. 
they some of them do need to be split, but there's quite a few that are just rounds that'll mm -hmm. go straight in for overnight. Um, and I think, well, we have a ton of bit little trees that came down from the windstorm. We sure do. So we have to get back and get those. Well, so that we have all of those, but then we also have a huge pile that was cut last year, beginning of last year. Yeah. Pretty sure it was last Are that, year. those all, all the ends and pieces? No, they're no. actual long logs. Oh, gotcha. They're trees that we, and when we were in the clearing process, right. um, we stacked them in one spot. And it's a pretty big stack. So it's probably three times more than what I just put. The what bugs is are out. With the, bugs? the bugs are out. Oh, like, it's Jonathan, official. It's <laughs> <laughs> Time to start hanging fly tape <laughs> off of our hats. And I would like to say that today officially is the first cowboy hat day of the year. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> this, I, I don't. this is literally my favorite hat. Like it covers my ears, it covers my neck. There's a reason why they make cowboy hats. They look cute. I mean, that's like the number one. <laughs> True. You could put your sunglasses up and they, you know, they can slide a little bit and they won't even fall. Like you got some good movement that can happen. Unlike a baseball cap, they're like, Ooh. I'm a baseball cap girl. I, I have both. This is my preference, but I think it's the Texas thing. Yeah. Like, cause I'm, a, I, I'm a baseball. Yeah. Girl. And then I grew up in Arizona and I never got into the sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> I but, do like a good big floppy garden oh, hat. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is the next collection that we're going to have <laughs> because this garden's going in and it's going to be huge. Yeah. And I mean, I have had the cancer on the back of my neck, so <laughs> I am. I am supposed to be wearing my hair down. The per the doctor, keep your hair down, quit wearing it up, get a big hat on. The bigger Ooh. the bright, the better. By huge. Those of you that didn't watch the video the other day, how big is the garden going to be? <laughs> um, the area that the goats in is a is two hundred by two hundred, and we're splitting that in half, yep. so it will be a hundred by two hundred. So that's a nice size garden. And there is a possibility that that whole 200 by 200 will be moved in. I mean, we'll have this whole front area filled first yeah, and then be moving because I, I have a couple of dreams. I have a couple of things that have stuck with me since I got out of the military. Um, one is to be a foster parent. Yes. Uh, I grew up in, in, not in fosters, but I grew up in uh, abuse women shelter things. Like mm -hmm. that's, we did that and we, there were, there were a couple of times that we had to be like taken to someone's house for the night for safety and I want to do that and that's been a big calling for me so yeah I would love to have this big huge garden that you know ladies and their kids can come out Sees and everybody. garden and everybody can be fed and yeah so that is that is literally my 10-year plan um, and I'm hoping it's more of a five-year plan than a 10-year plan but yeah. You know, so huge garden, and and I would love to have you know extra for people at church do the CSA you know type garden. They come in, they get a basket full of vegetables once a week. And That'd be awesome. We hang out and we have a big, you know, garden to table yeah. kind of thing. Um, so that's you know that's that's really my dream. In fact, to the point that I once the the shipping containers done and I'm comfortable in there and. You know, maybe we have your house going and we've got the barn up and yep. to really spend some time in there getting that established with the fruits and the vegetables and the berries and, you know, the grapes and just all of those things, Absolutely. you know, and then, uh, and then work on the big house. I mean, that's just kind of my, yeah, because kind of what I see. like a, the big house is a, a grand plan, but mm -hmm. you you know, you've been living in an RV for a while, so getting along in the shipping container would be fine. Yeah. Go see the pipeline. Let's check it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we were going to show them our trash and everything. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're going to show them that we're going for a walk. Oh, okay. Look how pretty it is out here. And this is, it's almost 60 degrees today. Love it. Uh, so we do have an update on our chicken pen. <laughs> uh, is it a chicken pen? <laughs> it's not anymore. We're turning it into a quail hut. So we got to pull off the roof and 
because those are too short. Um, we're gonna replace with those. We're gonna create a duck pen or whatever with those. And then we're gonna close it all in and put our baby quail in there. Ooh, yay. So that's the plan. It's a great oh, plan. We have some good plans. I have lots of plans. <laughs> so this is some more firewood that we have. That's not the pile that I was talking about. The pile that I'm talking about is down a little past the junk. <laughs> past the junk. <laughs> There's a pile of junk. <laughs> but look at what we have going on in the front here. I don't know. And the other piles thing of dirt. Is, if you look in here, if you scan, you can see how many trees are downed on the maybe. I don't know. Yes. But there's so many trees leaning and their root system is pulled up and they're and they're coming down. So we're going to get closer to that big one just because I want to see what it's doing. But uh, that's a lot of firewood and hopefully some milling logs. we got our big pile of fill dirt that Victor brought. It's really nice having a kid who's into landscaping. Yeah, <laughs> you raised him right. <laughs> <laughs> so that one tree is worrying me because that's a widow maker it's caught up in those other trees i thought a widow maker was a heart attack um it's also when a tree lands like that because <laughs> then a big wind comes and falls on you <laughs> ah okay Wow. So the first one is down when we bought the place and it's caught on the root system. That's a scary one. Because as you start clearing it and this gets lighter, it could fall more. Down. Look at that. Yeah, that one so is... just split in half. It broke. Yeah, that's full on caught up there. So that makes the really scary. This is a nice big bird. This one and this one both. They are both caught. Yep. And that's a big tree. So that one will have to come out also. I was planning on clearing the smaller trees out and then keeping these bigger trees, but this area holds water. So if we're going to put a pond on the property, it would be right in here. Because this is, this is the low point and it holds water. But I also know that the neighbor's putting a road right there where those pink flags are. I don't know if you guys can see, but right there. So that's pretty scary. This this tree, the top that fell off of this can be milled. It's still pretty big. So that's no, we'll just have to see if we can get these guys out safely. That's the key. But we have all of these trees right here that are on my property that the wind is knocked down that can be done up for firewood but that whole area back there um i own a it's a triangle up in here all the way up to the very top of the pipeline and i want to go through there and pull down the rest of the trees that i need to make the barn garage and then at that point um we could, so we're going to selectively mill. We're not, uh, we're not, or log. We're not going to pull it all down because I am concerned about the the trees falling. Because if you look over here where they logged, he's just they left a bunch of skinny trees up, but they've all blown over. So many of them have just come down. Oh, look at that pipeline! Just go all the way down there. 
Let's go back up and look at the top of the pipeline. So I do know over here in this triangle that I have, there's some really big trees. So I know that we can get um, some big timbers out of those and still keep this, this front section that they had replanted when they logged it 30 years ago or whatever. So, um, and all of that property up there on top of the pipeline is yours. Yes. Yes, all of this, all Which, the way up. And we can to graze the top of this that. area. We can put animals on it and graze it. They're totally fine with that. Um, we can put a permanent fence across this. We just have to get clearance with the pipeline guys. And they have to have access, right? Yeah, yeah. and so they're totally fine with that. You do have to put a, a gate or whatever on it. But I was just thinking running some electric fence. We can five feet off of the pipeline of where these yellow flags are five feet over you're allowed to put in a permanent fence so i can put a permanent fence all the way up and then just use electric fence to connect the two and i can put livestock the goats oh, can go up here and that, that would be stuff. awesome so i might really look at it's a lot of rock up there there's a lot of shale um, i may just look at throwing some seed out seeing what it does um, seeing if we can get some stuff to grow, but the goats would love all this this small brush and that kind of stuff, you know, right? They just they thrive on all of that Unfortunately, they'll also strip all the trees. Yeah, they have to be uh, Pushed away from the trees. Yeah, but we've got so many that are leaning this way right now from the, the Even some of the birches up there. We're gonna look over her shoulder here so you can see what she's yeah, about. so they're all leaning, and once they start leaning like that, you've disrupted the root system, and they're going to have to come down, which is frustrating. We have quite a few that are dead standing, so those will be good firewood for this next winter, um, like that one. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a little tricky getting in there and taking these bees down, and then replanting, because I don't want to lose the wind block. That is a, a big worry for me is when it is that. Super block. important actually. Yeah. All right, let's get back to get back to work. I think we're planting strawberries now, right? We're planting strawberries. Let's do it. Millions of strawberries. Seven million strawberries. This is gonna end up being the new driveway. We've still gotta dig it down in so there'll be a but Got it pretty wide. Took quite a bit clearing out. Dirty dang. So much work. New driveway. So I think looking at all this firewood, I do think that uh, we probably got about five cords minimum. Probably six. That'll be amazing. Already, and that doesn't even count all that back there. I like it when you stay, but I love to watch you walk away. <laughs> See, our boys don't say that because we don't look graceful doing like this. No, we don't. Here, I'll help. Okay, now we're recording. <laughs> I have egg on my pants.
<laughs> At least it's not egg on my face. That's true. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Whew.